notes. So I've got to do this, otherwise I'll forget. There's a lot of sort of backpedaling and... Oh, people just don't know what's going on. Um, I have no idea. How about someone's trying to make the truth community look a bit fucking stupid? Everyone's been calling out, you know, uh, Hillary and the Clintons. And everyone's been saying what a, a douche Trump is. He's got no chance of winning. It, it, for me, it just clashes. It, it just straight back to Brexit. How many people were fucking wrong about that and all? Well, let's all try to stop fucking example. I went to see someone last night and uh, they was adamant, absolutely fucking adamant, excuse my language, first thing in the morning, absolutely adamant that first thing in the morning, uh, oh my god, what am I doing? Absolutely adamant that now that Trump is, is president, that we, within the next couple of years we'll be at war. This guy was absolutely adamant that this is what's going to happen. Okay, it sounds a little bit like the chap I spoke to down the road, uh, walking across, walking and um, talking to him about flat Earth and stuff. And then I come home last night. I put on my on my my YouTube thing. And Thomas Sheridan's got a video out. And Thomas Sheridan is going on about um, how Donald Trump's now going to save your fucking asses because uh, he's going to stop Common Core and. He's he's gonna make sure there's no war now, and I, and he's got loads of thumbs up. Everyone, loads of people are agreeing with him. So I've got Thomas Sheridan on here saying saying uh, how how good Trump's gonna be, how much he's gonna change it. But then I've got just normal blokes who go to work and read the newspapers saying things like, um, "There's definitely gonna be war." This is uh, what is just. I don't get it. I do not get it. Everybody, everybody's um, being too. too cocksure. Everybody is adamant that they are right. James Evan Pilato. The poor guy looks like he's gonna cry because because he was wrong. I was sure it was gonna be Hillary. I was I was so positive. Well, maybe we should all stop being so fucking certain that we know what these motherfuckers are doing behind the scenes. For me, this is making everyone in the everyone, not just flat earthers, everyone in the truth community look like idiots, not this bit. But everyone in the truth community is, 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 I'm definitely sure that this is happening. And then the complete opposite is happening. Yeah? Everybody is at the fucking watering hole. Everybody's at the watering hole. And the lions are out there taking over the fucking world. Come on, people. Business as fucking usual. Everybody's predicting the end of the world. Well, I'm going to predict... A reasonably decent couple of years. Because this guy has got to look good for the next twat. Do you understand? they they got people to hate the voting. And now they've got to make people love it again. They're going to fucking flip you and twist you and make you feel like a fucking idiot. Poor old Evan Pilato, man. I, I don't agree with everything that, that James Corbett says or, or Evan says. But man, that man looks like he's been eating some humble pie this morning. Yeah, and he's not the only one. Trump, 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 Trump. That's all I've fucking heard all morning. That's all I've heard for a couple of weeks. You know, and, and to me, it's just the same thing as Brexit. Nobody expected that to happen, did they? Really? Come on, Pete. Oh, stop, stop being so certain of what you know. Let's ask more questions. Please, ask more questions of these fucking people instead of sitting at home at the watering hole saying, I know what's going on. I can see the water. The water's right here, and, and this is what's happening in the water. Right? This is the water. It's, it's, it's all happening right here in the water. Have a look around, people. You know, do that old 360 we all talking about that the astronauts never do. Stop fucking... Excuse my language. I am all het up because I... Oh.
Brexit all over again, yeah? Distraction all over again. Twists and turns and make us, the truth community, look like fucking turds. Absolute idiots, because everything we say is wrong. And people just, oh, well, I don't know, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, I'll be back, I'll be back. Sorry for my morning rant. Well, that is creepy and weird. You can choose to believe me or not. But yeah, I mentioned certain chap. And so do these guys. Like and say, Isn't that weird, Coinky Dink? A slightly better view of the construction going on. Although that's not what I want to talk about today. That big tall building there, that's that's the college bit I used to go to. The rest of this wasn't here. This is all new. There used to be a police station there, a car park. And it's all changing. So, good morning. Still recording. So, Jazz is right. It is much easier to just allow the forks to come out if you don't come out with an agenda. However, I have an agenda. I need to talk about something. I keep struggling. <laughs> um, across the road. Yeah, blank, mine's gone blank already. Right. Flat Earth, what it means. For me. The, the, the realisation that there is a question to be asked is the first step. It comes that language thing. In gaining the ability to start to see through the bullshit. To be able to start to see the liars, the greedy, the easy, easily manipulated, the willfully ignorant. It allows you to see the light. In that you can tell which people have looked into things, which people haven't. Which people are willing to admit that what they thought they knew was wrong. And those who will not. The flat earth realisation for me in many ways is like a, a gift of discernment, shall we say. And it, it's not about a certainty. Do you understand? Flat Earth, for me, is about the ability to question once again. Now, the other thoughts just jumped into my mind, so I'm going to quickly lay that one out there. Even though it won't go too far, maybe. Uh, at some point on the TV in the last few, last decade or so, Good to do recording. Um, someone made a statement that there would be like a 30 year war against the terrorists and such like. Well, perhaps we can cut that in half. Hey. Then people you see on the TV um, passing their opinions off to people like my two working class friends or to Thomas Sheridan, who I do not know, passing off opinions that then they pass off as their own. I can tell quite easily that Thomas Sheridan has not looked into the flat earth question. I can tell very easily out of the two working class friends of mine that one of them was more than willing to discuss the flat earth question and I am almost 100% certain that the other will be up for 
a discussion upon it too, even if their understanding of it is severely limited. And this ties in a little bit to uh, something people were saying about poor old Martin the other day and his 20 fucking joints a day comment. Hey, snap. So what? What are you going to do about it, people? If I'd have been drinking as much beer every day for the last 15 years as I do smoke pot, I would not be talking to you like I do now. Circumstances and other people, your environment, create you. And so to pull Martin apart is to pull apart his whole environment. Do you understand? Oh, I think flock of birds, not going to focus, is it? Damn it. <laughs> it's without focus, I don't know what's that bit. As long as you can hear me. I've, I've, said, I've said it before many times, I do not believe that um, parents hold as much influence over their children and the children's choices as the TV would have you believe. I do not. If it was like that, my, my boys would hate football, just like me. <laughs> you understand? If, if this was true, all my sisters would smoke, just like me, because our parents did. It doesn't work like that, okay? There are certain traits that are passed on through blood. I believe this. Now, I have first-hand evidence of it, okay? That I'm not, not willing to share it with you just yet. But there is something to blood. And I, I love the, the RH negative question. Um, and why, why, why there is a difference, how there is a difference. Is there a difference? I love what Evie was saying about the smell. Oh, the smell. You're right, Evie. Some people smell wonderful. Though I have to disagree on one part of that. I don't like anybody's breath in my face. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. <laughs> right, let me start filming. One second, I'll be back.